everybody, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart, and I wanna share with you another resource video that I have found for my homeschool life, and hopefully it will be helpful for you in your quest and journey of trying to find curriculum and resources for what you're doing in your neck of the woods. So, today I want to show you this really fun resource that I found from Evan Moore, and these are um, history pocket books that are available for grades one through three, and then they also have some that are grade four through six specific. So you can get, I think that there are three um, topics that are grades one through three. I have ancient civilizations, uh, life in the Plymouth colony, and then there's one for Native Americans, and that's grades one through three. And then the second one is going to be um, Civil War, American Revolution, Ancient Rome, Ancient Egypt, uh, colonial America, Explorers of North America, and Moving West. So these are super, super fun. And let me just show you, this is what we're doing for um, first grade. Now, if you know, or if you followed my story at all, um, we have been using BJU Press for our history, the um, Heritage Studies one, and Towards the end of that, you're gonna that they talk about Plymouth, and so and also in Heritage Studies too, they talk about Plymouth. So this is a really awesome resource that I'm gonna be able to duplicate or use both in my first grade year and in my second grade year. And since it's very thorough, it's really. Um, there's a lot of activities in here. I don't have that much time to be able to do everything that's in here during our first grade study. So I'm gonna kind of skip and do a few of them for first grade and then I'll skip and do a few of them in our second grade year. So it's a really awesome resource that you can use over the course of a couple of years and you don't have to do it all in one year. You can kind of save and then carry over. Now, this is what they are. Let me show you. Okay, so you get a big piece of construction paper. This is what, 18 by something? I don't know, it's the long pieces of construction paper that they tell you to get. I'll have to look it up really quick because I don't even remember. 12 by 18, okay? So this is a 12 by 18 piece of construction paper um, and then you fold it up on the top like this so it creates this fun little pocket here. And then in each pocket for various days of your study, you do these um, little pages that then you finish and you stick in here. Now we've just started um, this Plymouth one with our history study. And so, you know, I don't have anything additional to show you, but we've colored the front and then we're gonna be doing, I think there's five different pages here. Now this is a, uh, a reproducible book. So all of the pages you have to copy and, and put out. So that's what I've done here. I just copied everything that I wanted for this particular unit study. Um, and then I just stick it inside the book so that I don't lose it. But some of the fun pages that they have, first of all, excuse me, with each, um, with each unit or each page, you get this cute, vocabulary page that you get. So it's just a piece of paper that you copy and then you cut and you fold. And then your student is going to do this part of it where they, is that upside down for you? Okay, where they color the picture and then they can color the word box if they want to, cut it out. And then you paste the word box here, you paste the picture here, and then you write the definition on the inside. So it's a fun little like interactive activity. And if you know me, I love those interactive things. So you do all this and then you can either paste it on the back of just like a nine and a half by 11 piece of paper, like construction paper, and make it like colorful backing, or you can just slip it into your pocket. So that's really fun. Now let me, um, I'm actually gonna flip around the camera here and I'll show you what's in this Plymouth Life Colony book and then I'll switch over and do the Ancient Civilizations ones because it's a really fun, interactive way that you can bring history more to life. Now I used to teach history when I was in public school. Now that I'm in homeschool, history is kind of my passion. It's what I really love to teach and just reading something you know, out of a textbook or watching, if you're doing a distance learning video, just like watching somebody tell the story, is what I believe makes students not like history. History is typically the, the subject that is the most boring or people don't really like. So I think it's really important that you find interactive, fun, new ways to bring the story to life. And these books do that for me for our classroom for my students. So let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you a little bit deeper into both of these books.
And then you'll have to remember that they do have them for grades four through six. So I don't have those books because my students aren't that old yet, but they do have these two as well as a Native American one, um, which I probably should have grabbed that one as well because we do Native American studies both in first grade and in second grade with the curriculum that I selected. So anyway, let me, without further ado, let's flip the camera around and I'll show you what's in these books. Okay, so here are the two books that I have. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of cool things that they have here on the top if you need to you know, look a little bit deeper. So they have historical background facts, picture dictionary, evaluation forms, and they have eight pockets full of projects. So these are the topics that they're going to cover for um, the life in the Plymouth Colony. Let me just move this one to the side for a minute and I'll show you this one, okay? So these are the eight topics that you're going to cover. And as I mentioned, they are really got a lot of activities and a lot of depth to them. So to cover this in the course of a homeschool study unit, it could take you a long time. So I'm not going to be doing it all because I just don't have time for that <laughs> in this in this actual unit. So again, here we go. Here's your eight pockets. It's the same as what we saw on the front. And here's it's gonna show you how to assemble your pocket, um, similar to kind of what I did here, right? So you have your big piece of paper, you have a little piece of yarn or string that you use, and then you fold up each of those um, pages so that it makes a fun little pocket. And then this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So it just fits right into the pocket and you don't have to like scale it down or cut it up a little bit or anything like that. It just fits perfectly, okay? So that's really um, fun. Here's the cover page. So you just copy that and you can do it for as many students as you want. You can, you know, year after year. So that's really fun. And then this is your word snow. So this is actually gonna start your first pocket, which is Voyage to the New World, and here it's going to tell you everything that's included. You have five, four activities, um, a student booklet. This is going to be your vocabulary pages, or no, this is your, um, uh, just some text that the student can read, and then a fact sheet here, okay? So this is going to be, this piece here is the cover page, or it goes on the bottom of your um, pocket right here. And then this is going to be your words to know. So they have one page of this that you copy for all of them. And then you cut that, you copy that, and then cut it out, and that's gonna be this page. So that when you put them together, then it makes that fun little pocket. You can kind of see it in this picture right here where they've got that fun little words to know vocabulary page, okay? So this is a fact sheet. This I read myself. I don't actually have my student read, but it just gives you some further information. This is what's meant for the student. Uh, you can copy and cut this out, um, and then the student can read it. You can read it aloud or read it together, and it's just kind of a brief summary. It's just those three pages um, of what the voyage to the New World consisted of. They traveled on the Mayflower. It was not very comfortable those kinds of bits of information, okay? Now this is for the teacher. It explains some steps that you can follow and it gives you kind of a little bit more of a synopsis that's gonna help finish this activity over here, okay? So you can read this on your own or you can read help, it, help the student and kind of read with the student or if your student is in third grade, um, then they should be able to read this on their own. And then they can complete the map here. So this is the Pilgrim's Journey. You cut out the top part, you cut these out and put them in order. This is the page that we have done. So it kind of, they give you an example of what it will look like when you're finished over there, okay? So then you have the Mayflower model. It's really cute. And then you have the two sides here. So it'll make kind of like a little flat book. You can kind of see how they finished it there. Okay. So each of those pages is going to be like that. Just a fun activity that's going to show what it is that um, your student's doing. Now this page here is going to be all of the pockets for your words to know. So each of the eight pockets has four words four vocabulary words that your student is learning, and it goes along with these pages here, okay? So here's the one that you can copy eight times or however many pockets you wanna do for your study, and then you just finish it up this way by putting the picture and have your student write the words. So it's a fun, different way to do vocabulary. Okay, then you have pocket two, here's the new world. You have these activities that you're gonna be doing um, along with your little title cover. 
and all of the units or all of the pockets are kind of set up the same. So for me, I just went through each one and selected one or two activities from the units that I wanted. And then there were some that I skipped altogether and I was like, oh, okay, I'm actually gonna save that and use that when we start doing it for second grade. Um, so then I will, I'll be able to use this same resource again when we do second grade. So anyway, I'm just flipping through these pages really quick so you can get an idea of what kind of fun stuff is in here. Um, I am super duper excited about using it. I think that it's a really great interactive resource. And I'm actually using this book instead of my um, BJU Press curriculum when we go to talk about Plymouth because it covers really in depth and really well um, for what it is that I want to, to talk about. So, so that's the Plymouth, the life in Plymouth. Then we have this one. This is the ancient civilizations and it's set up exactly the same. They're all um, pockets. So you get the large paper, you get the title for each pocket, and then each of the activities you just tuck into the pocket. Okay. So this one has seven pockets. The other one had eight. And these are what we talk about here. What is history? Ancient Mesopotamia, Egypt, Greece, Rome, China, and the Aztec world. Okay. So the, the book is set up exactly the same as the last one. So I'll just kind of briefly run through this so that you can see what types of activities that they have. Um, and then you can make a decision if it's something that you're gonna to wanna to incorporate into your studies this year. So hopefully that was helpful for you that you were able to see a little bit more about what this resource offers and you can help get a better decision as to whether or not this is going to be something you want to use in your classroom. Um, I'm really excited about it. Like I said, we've just started using the Plymouth Life one or Life in Plymouth and I like that it's not just like a copy and paste kind of a thing. You don't have to just like color the paper and then paste it in. Like for example, when I was looking at the ancient Rome, here this one this activity is like where you make the headpiece that they did out of the leaves so it's not just like color these pictures you saw they had all of those puppets in the ancient um, civilizations one so it's really fun i like it i think it's going to be a really great resource for us and hopefully you'll be able to make that decision now that you've seen a little bit more about what this resource offers so anyway thanks so much for tuning in hopefully we can catch you in another video bye guys mm -hmm.